Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday. It's freezing outside, but we're outside because we are at an apple orchard. We are at Emma Crum Crumbles? Crum Emma Crumbies. Crum Emma I don't think it's Crumbies. I think it's Crumbles. It really? It's Emma Crumbies? Oh, Emma Crumbies. We're at Emma Crumbies. What city are we in, dear? Bell something? Bell something. I'll put the name of the city because I know some of you guys have been intrigued by, hey, tell us about local stuff to you in case we ever come to Minnesota and want to do things. My husband did some research to try and surprise me by going to an apple orchard. We're going apple picking. Check this out. We got a bag. We're going to go pick our own apples and then I'm going to have to figure out what to do with a bunch of apples. That's going to be fun. Eat them. E eat them. I was thinking like bake some of them. Sure. Oh, we can make like a good baked crock pot zero point low point apple thing or we can just make an actual apple pie or we can make a real apple pie <laughs> imagine that um and, and i know you guys want to know what was fun to do so my husband did some research and this was apparently one of the top rated apple orchards in our area um and by in our area i mean it was still quite a drive away but not too bad of a drive about what we were on the car what 25 minutes half an hour we're 25 minutes away from everything that still stands so we are here and we're about to pick our own apples! Look at that! Look at that! How cool is that? Well, it might be gloomy, but it still looks really nice. Mm mm mm. Contemplating his apple choices. We found a good tree. We have no idea what kind of apple it is, but it's a good apple. You find a good one? Not perfect, but... Alright friends, so I have an honest question. What's the point of buying gourds? Um, does this look like something that, you know, you would see and it's get a... really scared of in a Marvel movie? Yeah, I was like, to say, this looks like an alien creature! Like you put this in your house and all of a sudden it turns into a monster? These are, hands down, the bumpiest, wartiest, weirdest looking gourds I have ever I'm seen sure in my life. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, swan that got decapitated. These are ridiculous looking. Look at this. This one's my favorite one. It looks like a very ill head of cauliflower. We're in the pumpkin tent. Look at our apples. We picked a whole bushel. Look at this. It smells like fall in here though, which is glorious. Have you ever seen a I've seen a Not like this. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Look at these! What do you even do with those pumpkins? I'm pretty They're sure even marketed put, as warty bark pumpkins. I'm pretty sure you put a uh, wart, wart away, wart freeze on. Oh my gosh. All right, I need to get inside. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. I'm going. Fun thing about Emma Crumbies, here's the name of the orchard, my friends. They also have a restaurant, which is where we are having lunch. Where it is happy hour every day. And we're talking like, when did you say happy hour started? Like 10, 9 a.m., 10 a.m.? At the bottom of the menu. Do, do, do. 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. There's a happy hour for you, my friends. Eric and I both ordered breakfast food that is not at all points friendly, and we don't regret it one bit. All the way in the back. So this is one of the fancy breads that they offered, apple or blueberry fritter bread. We ordered the French toast version and it's going to be amazing. Here it is. This is their apple fritter bread, which I decided is like monkey bread and an apple fritter having a baby. Made in a French toast and he had blueberry muffin bread basically. Blueberry fritter bread. Blueberry fritter bread made into French toast. Oh my goodness. Not a bad strategy. Nope. Lint chocolate. Yeah. They're gonna have everything. Uh huh. Cash check. -in. No credit. <gasps> Wait, what is that for? Is that for inside? Yeah, that's in general. Well, I guess we're not buying anything today. <laughs> oh, here we. Oh, it's this. The world's largest puzzle. The world's largest puzzle. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> That's cute. These are all cute. Oh, look at the little two men. They're bird feeders. All right, well, I haven't been able to find a sign, but my friends, we are in the world's or Minnesota's largest candy store. Oh, and 
it smells good in here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> 18 days for the food and this gummy snake right here. Take a picture of the Crazy. What'd you find? Cotton, that doesn't look like cotton. Oh, I guess it does look like cotton candy. I love pistachio flavored things. Chocolate from Holland, chocolate from Scotland, chocolate from Serbia. I want the crumble. Look at this. Iceland. This place just goes on forever. All the M&M's. And the creepy fortune teller guy. A whole other room. Alright, we better get a cart. There was some right behind us. Pretz. Pretz! Check out the size variation of these apples that we got. Look at this bad boy. This, look at this bad boy. Holy cow. He's huge. And then, aww. Cute little guy. It's hard to find these apples in the store. The big, you pay up the wazoo for apples like that in the store. Oh yeah. He's already busting out his soup. We ordered soup to go. Dumpling soup? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, so we're home. And we bought candy. So I thought we'd do a fun little candy haul, because why not? I don't actually know what all ended up being in here, so let's find out. We got Ginger Crunch Creams Cookies. These were from, what did you say, the UK? Yep. From the UK. That was an Eric Choice item. More light. Then we got, no, I have the lighting right. Perfect. I got a Stonewall Kitchen Cocoa Sea Salt Caramel Stroopwafel. You guys know that I've been loving Stroopwafels, and I love sea salt caramel pretty much anything. So I had to try this. So we'll see. None of this is Weight Watchers friendly. FYI. There was literally a package that said no nutritional value added. No nutritional value added. What was that on? Marshmallows? No marshmallows. marshmallows. No nutritional value added. The cereal marshmallows. Oh yeah, there was a box that was like the Lucky Charms marshmallows, but with no cereal in it. Um, so we got cowtails. These are like those creams, those caramel creams. I was raised on these, but the plain ones. My grandfather always had them. So I think of him whenever I um, eat them or see them. And they had different flavored ones. So they had a cowtail of strawberry flavored caramel. So I wanted to try that one. And then Eric got one that was caramel apple. So a little bit more... Um, 
Not, not quite as far of a stretch from the original, but we'll see. I love rock candy, so I got myself a pink rock candy because I love all flavors, pink and red, except for cinnamon. Um, so, like, this is the cherry, I think. And a regular rock candy because rock candy's awesome. Oh, God, this thing weighs, like, five pounds. This is the crispy, crispy cakes, marshmallow rice tree, so it's a rice crispy treat, cookies and cream. Can we just talk about, like... Look at the thickness of this goofy thing. And then... Read the nutritional info on the back. Oh, okay. Four servings. Four servings. So, like, a serving is what? Like, that much? An inch square? <laughs> or something? Five grams of fat. 62 carbs. No fiber. 16 grams of sugar. That's it? 180 yeah, that, calories that, for that the couple bites. Is, that whole thing is 700 calories. Yeah. Yeah, this whole thing's 700 calories. There's a, there, there's surprisingly not as much sugar as I thought there would be, but I guess the whole thing is 16 times 4. Yes, 64. So that's 64 grams of sugar. All right, when you look at it that way, that's a lot more sugar. We got, oh, oh my gosh. So do you guys ever have those things that, like, you just, I, I spent half of the time being in this place flashing back to my childhood. And Eric picked this up, and it was one of the things that flashed us back to both of our childhoods which were completely unrelated. Grape bubblicious bubble gum. You can just smell it and flash back to your childhood. I also saw like that fruit stripe gum. gum. The fruit stripe gum, that's really hard to say. Yeah, that, had a, that had a zebra mascot, right? That zebra. Yeah, the zebra gum and like the, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the bubble tape gum, all of it was there. And I was and like- big league chew. Don't forget my big league big chew. Big league chew, I was never into that. But I just, I'm like, this is my childhood. I was literally a kid in a candy store because my childhood was in this candy store. It was really cool. She was a kid in a candy store because she's a kid and we are in a candy store. That too. This, this is something that I used to buy all the time when we lived in Japan. This is pizza flavored pretz. They're like these itty bitty, super thin, crispy breadsticks. They're a really great chip substitute. There's, this whole box is only 150 calories, and I really loved these, so I got one, because I haven't seen those since Japan. Pop, I forgot you bought this. Pop Rocks dips. I haven't had Pop Rocks in ages either. These are like the, the most exciting thing I think we got. This is a giant peanut butter cup. Giant peanut butter cup. And it is the Cookie Monster peanut butter cup. So he got the Cookie Monster flavor, so it has like Oreo cookies and chocolate chip cookies and stuff in there with the peanut butter. And then I ended up getting the salted pretzel peanut butter cup. I almost got the salted caramel one, but they didn't have it in milk chocolate and I wanted milk chocolate. They had it in dark chocolate? Yeah. You didn't get the dark chocolate I, salted caramel? No, because I prefer milk chocolate. I'm going back there in like two weeks. So I'll get it then. We don't exactly know what these are, but they were intriguing to Eric. Tango, crisp. Waffle, light and sweet and surprising, and surprisingly savory. Huh, we don't know what these are. We'll let you know. The sun came out and is messing with my lighting. Wait, hold on a second. Is my wife complaining about sun? Oh no, oh no. It's cold, but there's too much sun outside. See, you look fine because you're not right by the window. <laughs> She picked this place because, well, in part because of how much Follow sun light. there is. It's it's direct true. sunlight in this room. It's and now true. she's complaining about the sun. He just doesn't understand. First world problems. Yes. This is not even first world problems. This is just, you know, YouTuber problem. Then we got Tootsie Pop Drops, which we didn't know existed, but they're literally, at least according to the picture, it's just the little hard candy with the little little Tootsie Roll inside, so we can just pop a little one instead of having to commit to an entire sucker. So we got those to try. We got a whole bunch of like, let's just no, try no, no. it. In this case, we were the suckers. We were the suckers. And then this is the last thing we got. I'll probably end up getting something different the next time we go, but I, I had a little you know freak out moment in the middle of the store when I found a candy that my family always went to the store and purchased whenever we vacationed in Wisconsin Dells, and it's the Barab Baraboo Candy Company, and they make cow pies. 
which are like turtles, and Utterfingers, and all these really fun, they had like three primary things. Well, they expanded and they had an entire display in this store. So I got, just because I had to buy something from the company, I got this little itty bitty Homer's Melties, which I have no idea what it is, almond toffee, because I had to buy something. And I think that was it. That was our entire candy haul. This is not at all what I expected to be doing today, but it was a fun little adventure.